Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Webster, North Carolina, and I am down here by the river. And the uh, reason I come down here is I want to take a look at something. Um, I used to drive, it's a road not too far from, from this river, I used to drive every day on the way to college, I would drive along this road, I could see the river from the road, and I noticed this right here. If you guys can see that, that is a car. A car in the river, just sticking out there. It's been there forever. And I always assumed that maybe this was some sort of accident that someone had maybe uh, plummeted into the river. Um, you know, one time accident. A lot, it was all the way on the other side of the river. But um, after a while, you know, I'm looking around, I've noticed that along in this river, this is not the only car that's uh, embedded in the bank here. And I, um, I asked some people that know better than me, and they told me, no, that's there for a reason. That is automotive riverbank preservation. And I don't know the time frames exactly. I don't know if anyone can tell what type of car that is or how old it is. But at some point, um, people in this area, in the Appalachian Mountains, began sticking cars in the riverbank to prevent erosion. As you notice, this is right in the bend of the river where erosion would happen the worst. So at some point, they, they shoved a car down in the mud there to hold the bank so it would not erode. As you can see, seems to be working. The bank is not moving. The, the car seems to uh, be doing its job. As far as environmental concerns, I can't say much about that. Um, I don't know fluids in the car. don't know how that was handled, so I'm not going to make any judgments on that. Okay, here you can see another one. car's very belly up right there. It's got a tree growing out of its back tire. All right, there's one. Pretty buried. These have sunk pretty deep down into the mud. They probably won't be exposed for all that much longer, but they're still there, protecting the riverbank against Mother Nature. Okay, now that may seem pretty crazy, and it is, but um, what we're witnessing here is just the very tip of the iceberg when it comes to automotive riverbank preservation. Let me show you something else. All right, I have traveled over to Cherokee, North Carolina, near the Bryson City line, and over here they have taken automotive riverbank preservation to a new extreme. They've actually created walls of cars smashed into the bank, piled up like a junkyard to preserve the bank. Underneath this little railroad trestle, we're gonna head down there and see down what we can on see. on the riverside here. See a little foundation of what used to be a house right there, but over here, we have our riverbank full of cars. You can see it's several cars piled up, smashed down. Now the river's a little high right now. Sometimes you can actually walk out on the rocks and get a better view. These are just little bits and pieces of antique car strewn through here. It's like a rock has fallen and smashed in. The roof of this car, you can see the steering wheel right there. Uh, this is probably not too smart, but I'm actually like walking on a pile of antique rusty cars. You can see there's a are peeking out of the bushes right there. I'm gonna see if I can get on the other side of the river and get a better view of these cars. All right, here I am on the other side of the river and actually get a real good view of this wall of cars. Check this out. Just look at 
all those cars in the riverbank. Get all those bumpers sticking out. Those are some really old cars too. I've said before, I'm not a car guy, but I doubt anyone can identify them from this condition, but those are some old, old cars. Actually, see a few cars over here in this part of the river. Check that out. All right, here's yet another car wall. You can see these little car-shaped kudzu lumps here. It's actually cars hidden under there. You can see a few uncovered over there like to get a better view of this but there's nothing on the other side of the river and I don't feel like swimming all right here we are at the Bryson City line as you can see there's another car wall down there in the riverbank let's take a closer look see the kudzu is like draped all over it holding it together Let's go climb around on top of those cars. All right, you can see all this. The roofs of the cars sticking up there. Well, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this journey through the wonderful world of automotive riverbank preservation. Now, one thing I did want to ask is if anyone has seen anything like this anywhere else because um, through my travels I've never come across, besides this general area, not seen where cars have been used to uh, preserve a riverbank. That doesn't mean that it's not happening somewhere else. So if you have ever heard of this or seen it, please let me know. Also, please subscribe and uh, check out my website, www.thecarpetbagger.org.